All right, turning to the forecast now as we take this live look outside, we've got some team coverage as we end the show tonight. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it was a perfect day to get out there and kind of explore those food trucks, Aaron. Oh, yeah, for sure. Nice conditions. Lisa and I are covering uh, the Memorial Day weekend forecast, and it looks actually pretty nice. So let's get you started out where we are right now, 67 degrees with winds backing off a bit over our cameras here from our stadium place. Look at Elliott Bay. Even up through the strait, we're seeing picture-perfect conditions with Squim at the Dungeness Lighthouse, and it's a little bit cooler through the strait as we get a little breeze going on, but we're backing our temperatures off. We hit about 72 today for the Seattle area and Portland. You're still hanging on to 74 degrees further down in California in the Bay Area to the north and south. Really cool conditions, but the desert, it warms up into the mid 90s for Phoenix. And as we move up through Salt Lake, 69 degrees with Boise in the mid 70s at this hour. So our temperatures are backing off, but it's still really comfortable and nice out there. Should be a pretty sunset as we get rolling through. Looking at those wind speeds, you can see some of us out of the north and northwest. We have had a little bit of breezy day and gusty at times. Seattle, 17 miles an hour at the airport. We've had some light winds and even at Joint Base Lewis McCord, 18 miles an hour out of the north. We've been mainly clear across much of western Washington. Maybe a few high wafting thin clouds late this afternoon after morning clouds burned off, but we're seeing that rotation in the upper atmosphere and we had some earlier thunderstorms producing some heavy downpours in those cells and we saw some hail and thunder and lightning. Those will wrap up as we get into the evening hours. We'll just see a few passing clouds waft through the I-5 corridor. They'll pick up over the Cascades around 11:30 tonight and then let up. So if you're looking to stargaze, it should be a really pretty night. As we get into tomorrow morning, really nice from the get-go. We might see a little low-lying fog, especially southwest out to the coast. And as we look at what's happening by the afternoon, we could see some mountain thunderstorms and some of those showers could waft into the western slopes of the foothills of the Cascades. But otherwise, a good day. Hour by hour forecast tonight takes us through just about that evening, 8 50, 9 p.m. That's when we start to see the sun saying goodnight. We'll see temperatures in the low 60s and even into the overnight hours. Those temperatures really comfortable for the metro. Cooler to the southwest, but 77 for our Thursday. 81 for our Friday, but don't get used to it. We do have some change on the way, and Lisa is tracking that holiday weekend. Yeah, so temperatures warming up as high pressure starts to peak here, Aaron. But as we head into the Memorial Day weekend, we do see some cooler weather. However, it's still going to be very, very comfortable for a lot of us. So if you want to make any plans for Saturday, we're looking at temperatures returning in the upper 60s. But this is our normal high temperature, 68 degrees on Saturday, waking up to some of that morning cloud cover. We've been talking about this over the last couple of days, but don't worry lots of sunshine in the afternoon and similar conditions Sunday and Monday partly cloudy skies but overall beautiful dry conditions and temperatures continuing to slowly increase in the lower 70s so it is going to be a very nice weekend right now we have this low pressure system and that will hang around as we head even into Saturday that's why those temperatures will be a little cooler but this low pressure system off the coast kind of remains there so for us those temperatures are still in the 70s high pressure just to the east of us so again not a bad forecast as long as that low pressure system stays away from us. Now, in the next six to 10 days, this is definitely showing up in our seven day forecast. We're looking at above average temperatures that continues through the state. Everything in green. This is the precipitation outlook again in the next six to 10 days. If you are traveling out towards eastern Washington from Spokane stretching south, this is where we can expect above average rain totals similar to what we've been seeing over the last couple of uh, I guess days you could say those showers and thunderstorms for us in western Washington we are going to be below average when it comes to any type of precipitation so nothing significant so as we take a look at the next seven days tonight 52 degrees tomorrow 77 beautiful lots of sunshine a little warmer yes 80s hitting on Friday not rolling out an isolated mountain thunderstorm but other than that I mean we are quiet and then a little cooler as we head into the holiday weekend but still very comfortable and still above normal as we continue with those lower 70s, finishing out the seven-day forecast.